Well, well, looking around, I, there's a lot of stones, but there's one that has caught my interest. There's a million stones in this beach. <laughs> Already there's one that has my interest. That is strange. Wait, let me fix the zoom. Holy cow. Well, I'm wearing a Thunderbird, so that's a Thunderbird motif. This hair definitely looks like a serpent effigy. The underwater serpent had horns and had a diamond, had some sort of magic diamond in its forehead. definite underwater serpent effigy. Oh, it's okay. I got my Thunderbird on, so uh, I don't have to worry. Thunderbird defeated the underwater serpent a long time ago. I know where this is going. Elsa Pog Tog. Strange what you can find on the beach. Uh, I'm not surprised considering that plane arrived there was a fortified Maliseet village a thousand feet from here. They had four long houses, a collection of uh, wigwams and other buildings. And that was uh, a long house usually held 20 or 30 families. Is that an eagle down there? No. Uh, no, that's just a really one of those big seagulls. Ah. of the beach there. I'm gonna have to wait till the sun shines on the beach for a while and then uh, some of this snow will disappear. Yeah, the last night I had this crazy dream. I came down to the beach and, and I found it littered, littered with With beads, trade beads. There's all kinds of them. There was something else. But anyway. Yeah, I guess you do this beach combing enough and you'll dream about beach combing. Yeah. So what I'm looking for is trade beads. 
arrowheads, spare points, pieces of shell. That, that decoration, or that beads can be made out of. What is this? Just, ah, just a stone. Uh, I remember yesterday, I walked up here and it took me a little bit of time to find those two beads. That is The 20th century stuff. All right, I'm gonna save the. Uh, I'm gonna save battery power and.